So, as I advised before, try to not use crazy glue because it's not good for health as the nails absorb all the chemicals and then this go into the system. That's not a very good idea. I find out years later because for those who play for dance or, or other games, or, they know that sometimes nails break. Actually, flamenco is a pretty hard job for the nails. So, watch the description because I post there how to use from half of the finger nail out the nail hardener which is not aggressive stuff and you can use three or four coats of that but in case you want to gradually give up suppose you cannot people wrote me saying I cannot give up this crazy glue thing because I'm used to the to very hard nail and, and I need it otherwise it breaks so then you gradually you can do one thing which is to just put a couple of layers from half of the fingernail out, couple of layers of the nail hardener, natural one, and then or, or less chemical, which I also posted in the description, the link for that. It works great and also Paco use that. So this thing here, you put two layers of the nail hardener and then, then you can go with one coat of the crazy view. That's not not the best thing, but this is better than putting directly the crazy glue on the nail, right? Because then otherwise your nail is becoming weaker and weaker. That's what you said, <laughs> And in fact, the more you use crazy glue, you become addicted to crazy glue, and then you you go also thicker, it's a thinner, thinner nail every time, and then you need to use more on this. So it breaks anyway, and it's making just it's like a, yeah, it's not curing the disease, but just the symptoms, right? Just to say. And therefore, the problem is that the, the nail is weak, so to, to strengthen that, then you need to take away this crazy glue thing. And then you can do it gradually. So, you can just give up the crazy glue, or you can use also, but under the other coat of the nail hardener, and that way it may work better. For some friends it works also. I also have to, sometimes, I have to use crazy glue for some particular stuff, or if the nail is broken, or then certain things, which you have to to use a harder nail. But anyway, by the way, if the nail is very hard, then you tend to have a metallic sound instead of a warm tone. And we're supposed to play to to hit, say, in the piccolo or regular play from from the from the flesh, so so that we get flesh and also and also nail, not just uh, nail alone, right? So therefore. This is one factor, and if the nail is too hard, which the crazy glue makes the, the nail very hard, then it's not flexible, that's also not good, because it changes the, the sound, obviously, and the pulsation, the tone. Watch what this pulsation and the description, I will also post that. So, the nail should be hard, but flexible. That's, that's the principle, that's what Paco told me. And then, therefore, this advice may be useful, that you get rid of the crazy glue story, or what to speak of this acrylic nails that what we used 30 years ago also that when the thumb breaks or something that you put one or an artificial nails artificial nails will also sound plastic right so better you take care of your nails properly and try to avoid chemicals this is the principle and therefore you can use this gradual thing check it out do it and then let me know how it went thank you and i see you next time <laughs>